right, tonight we are going to take a look at the War for Cybertron Kingdom Waspinator. Waspinator has definitely impressed me since I picked, pulled him out of the box today. He's got these awesome, they're sort of transparent, they're translucent-ish, like you can kind of see through them, but there's also a glossy shine on them so that you can actually so you can get the shine to catch so you can make out all the details to these wings. He has um, weapon storage. If you can push it from the back and get it to come out. There's weapon storage for this little B gun. That's probably just going to stay right there. Um, he does have a couple of issues staying together, I've noticed, in the waist. Uh, and he is really back heavy. So he has all the articulation that you would think he has. He's got... Uh, yeah. Shoulders good. He's got uh, wrist articulation, but it's really tight. And he, he does have a problem with his kibble getting in his own way, which is one of the problems that this bot has. Um, one of the things, I don't usually show this off, but one of the really cool things that he did come with is the card. He came with the Unicron card. Planet Eating Unicron card, which means um, I don't generally pull my stuff, my own stuff in here, but uh, perfect use case for one of my card holders designed to try to line up with the lines on the card, and then on the back you get the golden disc cut out. So that's where that will stay. Um, one of the cool things that just I found just playing with Waspinator is Waspinator also has a Gerwalk mode. So you start the transformation off. And then... And you have Waspinator in Gerwalk killer wasp mode which i think is pretty cool i mean i'm not going to display it like that but i just think that's kind of cool it has no relevance to anything other than i just think it looks cool like i said the the, the weapon is but i'm probably just going to leave there because it doesn't really look like a very good gun anyway so uh let's see let me get him back in robot mode Yeah, see, I don't like the way the waist half-ass tabs together. I'm not a fan of that. Ah. We don't need to girl walk anymore. Get him to stand up. Um, well, let's see. Who would he look good next to? Let's see. Let's take a look at him next to... I know I'm doing things all kinds of out of order. Here he's next to the, um, the, ah, Buzzworthy Bumblebee Black Arachnia, but I, that I can't get to stand up to save my life. Her right foot is kind of not great. Get the bugs in here, come on. Come on. That's how he stands up next to her, and I'll do an actual, like, comparison comparison at the end like I usually do. Um, so let's transform him and see how he looks in Wasp mode. And here's Waspinator in Wasp mode. Beast mode. And it's a neat little bot. Like, from the top, that's really cool. That's really, really cool. I, I like that you know, the wings are on ball joints, and you can, you can sweep them back. You can, you can cock them back like that. You can have them out. You can open and close the mandibles. You can adjust these. Uh, the legs, they 
will adjust a little bit, but it's kind of pointless. Um, are you going to hide the robot completely? No. No, you're not. Um, I don't... I don't like that you can literally see through his chest cavity. That's a little off-putting. But, I mean, what do you expect? You're not going to get perfection out of these. You're not going to be able to have a beast mode that is 100%. That's a cool beast unless you do a complete shell former like Megatron. Megatron is basically a shell former um, with the exception of, like, he just has the same legs in robot mode. You don't even turn them around. It doesn't have robot feet. At least, you know, they did what they could to give Waspinator that it's definitely a wasp. And they did what they could to hide the rest. And I don't think it looks bad at all. His gun hides in there. I love the wings on this guy. I love that. I mean, I love the detail, the sculpted detail in these eyes. Let me see if I can get to zoom in. You can see the individual, you know, it's got that insect million eyes, eyes look, which is super cool. So let's pull a few more bots in for some beast mode comparisons. All right, so here's how he scales with, uh, this is T-Rex. Same mold as Megatron. I think scale... No, of course it doesn't work. A bug would be tiny. But, you know, they never actually tried to scale his uh, wasp mode to an actual wasp anyway. So here he is next to uh, Cheetor in beast mode. I think that works for the show. Um, I threw a fossilizer in there just because. Um, I think as far as the scale goes, I think it works fine. I mean, considering. It's not like they went for historical accuracy with these things. So if you look at it as, you know, that's Beast Wars, I think it works pretty good. And realistically, um, in order for this to be in scale, Cheetor wouldn't fit on the screen. So take what you can get. All right, let's look at some comparisons. All right, so here's Waspinator. I keep doing that. Back up in his uh, beast or his robot mode, along with ah, come on, don't do this to me. Everybody's gonna fall over. So professional. I'm such a professional. Uh, all right, just lean up against that for a second. <laughs> so here he is with uh, some of the other Kingdom Beast Wars figures, just for scale. Um, he's he's pretty in line with how big Scorponok is. They're pretty much about the same size if you get them to stand up straight. Um, I, I think it's an awesome figure. I think um, if you n did not get the Thrilling 30s version, I don't have that version. I think this is this is a great little figure to have. Um, I can't really find any issues with it, considering it's a little difficult to hide everything in uh, beast modes on these things, unless it's a complete shell former. So... I uh, like, um, yeah, Rhinox's piece of shit figure, uh, which I'm not even putting in the video. I don't even know where he is. I hope I lost him. So, yeah, there's the comparison. So, what do I think of Waspinator? I really like Waspinator. He is a really cool little bot. He's really fun to play with. Super poseable. Um, I, I love these stupid wings. I like the purple they used. I don't know. I like purple. Um, I, th the gun is dumb. Like, if you look underneath, it's... It's just... I don't like the gun. I'm, I'm just going to keep the gun uh, in his butt. He can just keep his gun up his butt and hand-to-hand, -hand or I'll just make him a gun. Um, I'm really happy that I got the Unicron card. I think I'll have to print these. I'll have to print something like this in... A more Unicron color for the Unicron card. Link in the description um, for the download. But yeah, I, I really like this Wasp Waspinator figure. I think he fits in really well with the rest of the line. Um, I don't know. I just I really like this one for some reason. You know, a couple of the bots that I've gotten were just kind of like, eh, that's neat, but. For some reason, I love Waspinator. He might just end up on my desk and just play with him all the time. So, uh, yeah. 
So don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. Later.